Sony recently unveiled its latest breakthrough in sensor technology. The 247 megapixel IMX811 AQR medium format sensor, designed for imaging applications. This sensor's remarkable resolution far exceeds what most current digital cameras offer, with an astonishing 247 million effective pixels. Such a high pixel count suggests the ability to capture incredibly detailed photos and images. But what exactly makes this new Sony sensor so special, and how could it potentially impact photography and other fields? Let's dive into its key features and specifications to better understand its capabilities and future implications. The most notable feature of the Sony IMX811 AQR sensor is its massive resolution. With 247 million effective pixels, it offers far more detail than even the highest-end digital cameras currently on the market. For perspective, most top-tier DSLRs and mirrorless cameras peak at around 45 to 50 megapixels. This sensor blows those numbers out of the water, making it an incredibly powerful tool for capturing fine details. From tiny textures and subtle color variations to minute elements within a scene, this sensor records everything with extraordinary precision. For photographers and visual artists, this level of detail can provide an unmatched opportunity to bring their vision to life with stunning clarity. Every intricate aspect of an image will be captured, offering a final product with lifelike realism. Whether you're shooting landscapes, portraits, or industrial scenes, the creative possibilities offered by such a high-resolution sensor are immense. While resolution is the IMX811 AQR's standout feature, it also impresses in other areas. Despite its incredible pixel count, Sony has engineered the sensor to maintain a respectable readout speed of 5.3 frames per second in full pixel mode. While this speed may not seem fast compared to other high-speed cameras, it's important to remember that processing 247 million pixels per frame is a serious engineering feat. The ability to achieve this speed without sacrificing image quality highlights the sensor's advanced design. Additionally, the IMX811 AQR sensor will be available in both color and monochrome versions, catering to a range of different needs. Photographers may prefer the color version for its incredible fidelity while the monochrome variant could be of particular interest for scientific and industrial applications that require high contrast and sharpness. Imagine capturing landscapes with hyper-realistic detail, where every blade of grass or tiny feature in a scene is rendered with perfect clarity. Portrait photography could also benefit immensely, capturing skin textures and facial details that make each subject uniquely distinct. The creative potential of such a sensor in the hands of professional photographers is mind-blowing. The existence of a 247 megapixel sensor suggests that the future of imaging will continue to evolve toward higher resolutions and more detailed image capture. This breakthrough could inspire Sony's competitors to push their technology further, leading to new innovations and advancements across the industry. For now, the IMX811 AQR serves as an exciting glimpse into what the future of imaging might look like. While the Sony IMX811 AQR may not be suitable for every type of photography, its incredible resolution and advanced specifications make it an exciting development in the world of sensors. Whether you're a photographer, a scientist, or someone working in industrial imaging, the ability to capture such fine detail could elevate your work to new levels. What are your thoughts on this new 247 megapixel sensor? Share your views in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in photography and technology. Recent rumors have sparked excitement among videographers and tech enthusiasts alike suggesting that the upcoming Sony FX32 could be the next big thing in the world of video-centric cameras. One of the most talked about features is the potential inclusion of a global shutter, which could significantly elevate the camera's capabilities. However, before we get too carried away, it's important to examine what we know, what we're speculating, and whether this camera truly has the potential to be a game changer. The most intriguing aspect of the FX32 rumors is the potential inclusion of a global shutter. 
For those unfamiliar, a global shutter is a feature that captures an image simultaneously across the entire sensor, as opposed to the more common rolling shutter, which captures the image line by line. The rolling shutter effect can distort fast-moving subjects, leading to the infamous jello effect in footage. This issue has long been a thorn in the side of videographers, especially those who shoot fast-paced action scenes. If the FX32 indeed features a global shutter, it would be a monumental step forward for videographers seeking crisp, distortion-free footage. The ability to eliminate rolling shutter artifacts would make the FX32 an attractive option for a wide range of applications, from sports and action videography to high-speed cinematography. Another interesting rumor surrounding the FX32 is the potential merging of Sony's A7S and FX series. The A7S III, released in 2020, has been a favorite among videographers due to its exceptional low-light performance and robust video capabilities. The FX3, on the other hand, is designed specifically for video production, featuring a more compact design and omitting the electronic viewfinder found in the A7S III. The FX3 II could potentially replace the original FX3, streamlining Sony's product lineup by merging the A7S and FX series into a single video-centric camera line. This makes sense on several levels. Both the A7S III and FX3 share many core features, including a 12-megapixel full-frame sensor, the Bianzi XR processor, 4K 120p recording, and impressive autofocus capabilities. The primary differences lie in their design and ergonomics, with the A7S III appealing more to hybrid shooters who need both video and stills capability, and the FX3 catering specifically to video professionals. What could the FX3 II bring to the table? Beyond the global shutter rumor, there are other potential features that could make the FX3 II a must-have for videographers. One of the most exciting possibilities is the ability to shoot 4K at 180 frames per second, a feature that would be highly desirable for those who love capturing slow motion footage. This would be a significant upgrade from the 120 FPS offered by the original FX3, providing even more flexibility for creative video production. Another interesting detail is the rumored absence of a cooling fan which suggests that the FX3 II could be designed for silent operation. This would be a huge advantage for filmmakers who need to capture clean audio on set without the background noise that cooling fans can introduce. However, this fanless design could also raise concerns about overheating during long recording sessions, so it will be interesting to see how Sony addresses this potential issue. One potential downside, depending on your preferences, is the continued absence of an internal electronic viewfinder. However, rumors suggest that Sony might offer an external EVF that can be attached via the hot shoe, which could be a good compromise for those who prefer shooting with a viewfinder. Additionally, the FX3 II is expected to retain the compact and lightweight design of its predecessor, making it a versatile option for both handheld shooting and rigging on a gimbal or drone. The original FX3 was praised for its ease of use in run and gun situations, and if the FX3 II builds on that foundation with even more advanced features, it could become a go-to camera for professional videographers and filmmakers. As we await official confirmation from Sony, it's hard not to get excited about the possibilities that the FX3 II could bring. A global shutter, 4K at 180 FPS, and fanless operation would be huge selling points for videographers. Whether the FX3 II will truly be a game changer remains to be seen, but the potential is certainly there. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below.